Hey everybody, old army guy here. Uh, today we're going to do a video on um, catching, cooking, eating, cleaning uh, Gaspro, otherwise known as the alewife uh, in other parts of the country, but where I live we call them Gaspro. Uh, Gaspro are a sea fish that spends all of its life in the sea except for about two weeks in the spring. They swim up the local rivers and spawn and then back to the ocean and they can live up to eight years. Uh, their eggs are fertilized in the rivers and hatch there and slowly make their way back down the rivers to the ocean where they rejoin the schools down there. So uh, when they come up into the lakes they work their way up slowly through the rivers into the lakes and they'll fill up the whole bottom of a lake with their numbers. There's so many of them. And then they'll make runs up the river to the next lake and so on and so forth until they get to their spawning grounds. Uh, and there can be thousands upon thousands of them. And when they make their run up the river, there can be a thousand at a time or a hundred at a time, depending on what river it is and how many there are that are, are running up all at once. Uh, but when I was watching them in the couple rivers around here, you'd see at least 50 or 60 schooled up and coming. <coughs> and uh, so you can see here, uh, this is the surface of the river um, just downstream of the falls so it's kind of a holding pool and you can see there's a lot of ripples on the top and that's not them surfacing for flies or for food because they don't eat on their run up it's just their fins breaking the surface so there's just so many of them that they're up around the surface and breaking the surface of the water now this is a, a shot when we're in the river and you can see down here around this rock I'll, I'll zoom in a bit if I can here and you can see that there's fins coming out as they're coming over the, the shallow parts of the river where there's rock in, in the bottom. They, they'll come up and surface. And you'll actually see scales that have rubbed off of them uh, on the rocks. And they'll come up the river. And here you can see there's a pool here. Um, and in this pool is where they all kind of catch their breath, as it were, before they make the run up that little thing of rocks. You can actually see here uh, in the water... Uh, the flash of the side of several fish as they come up and try to go around rocks and things. Uh, they're quite shiny, so they'll come up and around and then come up and over the rocks as you see here. So the easiest way to catch them is to use a, a dip net, uh, and then what you do is you wait until, uh, like we, we pick this spot here, and you wait until they make their dash up over the rocks, so there will be a lot of them right at the bottom of that little fall, and you just jam your, your net down underneath and lift up, and you can get five or six at a time. Uh, the bag limit here this year was 20 per person per day. Uh, so you can get quite a few fish, especially if you've got three or four guys, and uh, they make a good meal. Alright, quickly how I process Gaspar. I can hold them up here by the gills, and you use your knife to scale them. Come back here by their vent, cut this fin off. Cut the tail off. And then you have these side fins, cut them off. Up 
here, hold him by the gills again. You cut this fin off by just cutting down in. That's a little deeper. Bring it along. And come here and we cut just behind the gills, straight down through. And then put your knife in the vent. Slice that through. Up, use the thumb, push out, and one of the things that I like to make sure is in here they have an open circulatory system, so their blood runs in here. So I just always run my finger along there and break out that blood. There you go, that quick, and you have a cleaned herring, a cleaned Gaspro. So for cooking, uh Gaspro. Uh, they're kind of like a herring and uh, what we had been doing was uh, cutting them in half and putting salt and pepper and a little bit of flour on them and then frying them in oil and that worked quite well but a friend of mine from Newfoundland who we took down to get them said because they're so much like herring one of the things you can do is uh, cut them along the sides in a herringbone pattern so like a crosshatch pattern uh, my cuts here, he told me, actually are a little bit large. You want about 3 eighths of an inch. But you can just score the sides, cut it down through the meat, down to the bones on both sides. And then put salt and pepper, dredge them in flour, and fry them again. And uh, they'll, the, the bones will stay attached a little easier. You can pull the meat off a little easier because they're smaller pieces. And that, that allows you to get uh, more of the bones out. Gaspar are a very, very bony fish. They have more than one layer of bones uh, through them. Uh, and those bones also go down to the bottom. Uh, and the bottom edge of the fish is quite sharp and hooked, and like a little serrated blade. So you got to be careful that you don't grab them at the bottom, otherwise you're going to get cut. But you can see here, frying them in the frying pan. Uh, you just fry them until they're golden brown, and then they taste delicious. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, we're going to be putting out a video very shortly on uh, how to get started with hunting because this year was my first year hunting. And I learned a lot of things that I think that um, people who've learned, grown up hunting forget to pass along to the younger hunters uh, just because they, they already know it so they assume everybody knows it. So because I had to learn them I'm going to put together a a, hunt, a series on learning how to hunt. Uh, this first one will be just on the general principles. So uh, look forward to that in about the next week or so. And uh, it's the old army guy signing off.